my show. Today we have Tony and Sigmund Freud to speak about the world's favorite drug, cocaine. Take it away, Sigmund. What? Oh my god. I strongly encourage the use of cocaine. It is, it is used as an antibiotics and blood glucose regulator. Most importantly, it's from coco plant and it is, it is rich in trace minerals and antioxidants. An antioxidant molecule inhibits the oxidization of other molecules, which terminates free radicals to prevent them from damaging cells in the body. Cocaine is very addicting. It's a terrible drug for you. And I don't care how good the cocoa plant is. Whenever I want coffee, you don't see me snorting cocoa beans. <laughs> cocaine was also used in anesthetics for surgical procedures due to its rapid numbing properties. Also, it was it was to treat minor skin lacerations by narrowing blood vessels. Who are you? I'm Saki. Your mind created an illusion because you're so high. People who use cocaine suffer from paranoia, delusions, and tremors, and vertigo. My crackhead friend died from having a seizure and then a heart attack. Okay. See, cocaine is also used for eye surgeries. It's pretty good, actually. It's used to numb the eye and prevent bleeding. Doctors are always right. This drug is also the leading cause to abdominal pain, oh. increase in t uh, blood pressure, increase in bodily temperature, and most importantly, decrease in sexual function. Oh. So my friend and I use this drug for depression and indigestion. It's perfectly fine. Look at me, I'm totally cool. Brian, why are you talking to a monkey? Talking about. You're talking to a monkey. It's my boy. Jeez. I'm fine. Yeah, definitely, because you're twitching every five Whoa. seconds and your pupils are dilating. What? Whoa! <laughs> Brian, wake up! Guys, give me some cocaine right now. I can't handle Miss Chewy anymore. Cocaine is an alkaloid that is made from the leaves of a coca plant. By mixing the powdered cocaine with a weak base like baking soda, it reacts with the hydrochloride of the powdered cocaine forming free base cocaine and carbonic acid in a reversible acid-base reaction. Heating causes the degradation of carbonic acid into carbon dioxide and water. Then the loss of the carbon dioxide prevent the reaction from reversing back to the powdered cocaine and HCl. It changes to a solid called crack, which has a lower melting point than powdered cocaine and it can be smoked. Crack releases dopamine or serotonin, which is basically the chemical in the brain that makes them feel the kind of high they do. Yet, that high doesn't last forever, only like 10 to 20 minutes. However, crack blocks neurotransmitters from going back into the vesicles of neurons. And this is why crackheads are always depressed because the chemicals cannot go back into the neurons after they take this crack because they're being blocked. So therefore, the chemical that makes them feel good it's not really working properly because they can't get to them. So I'm trying to say stay away from crack. Crack is whack. Now on a serious note, cocaine is a very serious and bad drug. It causes addiction, suffer of paranoia, delusions, bugs crawling under the skin as an example, tremors, muscle twitching or tics, paranoia, vertigo, constricted blood vessels, dilated pupils, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, increased body temperature, and decreased sexual function. Cocaine also causes chronic extreme fatigue, causes unre um, unrelenting headaches, abdominal pain, nosebleeds, significant weight loss, 
blood-borne disease which has such as HIV and hepatitis from unsafe injection as use. This, this drug is very serious, affecting millions of people. The, the biggest problem about this drug, it's easily distributed and it's pretty much everywhere and access to it isn't that difficult. Therefore, it's um, slowly affecting more and more of today's society and we have to act now. For